Islanders hosting the Utah Hockey Club, and Utah is plus 130 on the money line. The Islanders minus 155. The over-under is five and a half goals. I've also seen it go to six. The Hockey Club or Utah getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 185, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one goal, you win. And the Islanders laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 154, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Utah is playing right now, and they're tied at nothing in the first period. The game just pretty much started against the Blackhawks, and this will be the season opener for the Islanders. It's supposed to be Ingram in net, who's in net right now, and it'll be Marlamov, or it's supposed to be Varlamov in net for the Islanders. Head-to-head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. Now, this is going based off of them versus the Coyotes, which the hockey club was, and it's pretty much the same damn roster, so... We're going to roll with it because otherwise there are no stats because this will be the first ever meeting between the Islanders and the hockey club, but they were the Coyotes before that. The Islanders are on a two-game winning streak. They won both games they played against the formerly known as Coyotes last year. The Islanders are 7-3. and three. There have been two one-goal games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 7-3, and three, and the under at 5.5 was 8-2, and two, and at 6, it was 7-2-1. and one. Now, the hockey club just scored a goal. They're up one nothing on the Blackhawks, so we'll see if that lead holds. This is just going to be interesting to see if the change of scenery helps Utah or, you know. But we're also talking about a cross-country flight and one day off. I know things like this happen, but I'll take the Islanders with the money line. I will take Utah getting the goals, and I'll go under in this one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.